Hey, my Taurus babies. Okay, this is <laughs> take two. <laughs> okay, we ain't gonna go into nothing else. But anyway, um, this is gonna be Taurus and Sagittarius sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Uh, for the month of whatever's left of June, where are we the eighth, seventh, eighth. Oh, through July, right past the 4th. So this will give y'all some kind of indication of what is or what ain't, what might be. Um, you got the Ace of Wands on top. And you got the Ten of Swords on the bottom. I'm going to tell you that some action that has been taking, that has been taken is helping to relieve the stress, but you got emotional withdrawal down here on the bottom. Um, and I'm not surprised because that's overall energy right there, which doesn't surprise me because um, damn near every tourist reading I've heard or did myself has got that element of just the hermit trying to regroup. Um, I have a sense here and this, this, this ain't going to be everybody's reading, so don't get excited. I think everybody may be able to get something out of it. But uh, there may have been some issues with one or the both of you working quite naturally because of COVID, no doubt. Um, and so that caused some financial upheaval. However, it feels like you guys are coming out of that. But there's, there's a rift here between Taurus and Sagittarius. Um, I know I saw the judgment card in this deck. Uh, so there's something. Yeah, Lord. Psychic wounds. So that's, that's, that's stress. Um, something that's happened has affected your connection. Yeah, well, there it is. An emotional swamp of the Three of Cups. Somebody's not been playing well with others with that the back ass end of the Queen of Cups. Just like, fuck it. And so the Victory and Success card, this, this popped up in reverse, I guess. That's the energy that I'm feeling. Um, it's like, okay, everybody's working now. You know, there's money, not what you wanted, actually. But, I mean, it's better than it was. But it's the success is tainted somehow with somebody just basically walking off in the other direction. And, and again, it's not a physical thing, but maybe a mental thing, Taurus, where you have just kind of exited stage left. Because last year... You got this side, but this is what's on the back side. This is what was at the bottom of the deck. Um, and this has just kind of triggered some shit for you, Taurus. I don't know. I want to kind of say that maybe Sagittarius wasn't working and they enjoyed not working or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's got that kind of feel to it, you know, whenever whatever was going on last year. And I think I've only probably done maybe two or three tours in Sagittarius readings this year. So I don't remember exactly what I was talking about at any given point. I do so many readings. But um, the, the energy here before I start flipping cards is that it feels like, I want to say Taurus, you were triggered because Sagittarius, it feels like, may have gotten comfortable with the not working thing. And so there may have been some kind of struggle about you going back to work, that kind of shit. Um, we got the back end of the star card down here. So that, that's kind of telling me, you know, the whole hopes, wishes, and dreams shit, that part right there, kind of just has been interrupted. And so this is, this is I'm coming from Taurus's perspective for this reading. So this really, and it really does feel like Taurus. Like you just got triggered and you had to deal with some shit. Just saying still dealing maybe with something maybe this triggered you back to um an old relationship where 
maybe Taurus was reluctantly taking care of someone. And this is male, female. Doesn't it's really, you know, not a one way thing with the gender. It could go either way. So depending on how this is resonating with you. And it just triggered whatever this is, it's just triggered Taurus and has caused this quasi emotional withdrawal thing. Like fuck it. Let me just go sit in the corner. And okay, overall the energy for Taurus, even in the middle of this retrograde, it would be happening with or without it because of Uranus, you'd still be in this reflective mode. But because of Mercury retrograde, you're deep in it. And you're really thinking back to how the fuck do I keep attracting this kind of person that thinks they're going to just sit up in my house whoop, and not help. Cross watchers, you're going to have to work with me here. Now, obviously, let me throw this disclaimer in. It could go either way. This could be Taurus that got triggered. It could be Sagittarius that got triggered. But... I'm the feeling I'm getting just with all the green and shit on the board. <laughs> this is Taurus. Definitely feels like Taurus's energy. And so on the back end, that, that material security, that ten of, ten of pentacles on top of the temptation, it's like, you know, fuck all this shit. I'll roll out in a heartbeat. And that's Taurus all day. <laughs> Taurus all day. All day long. Loyal until the end. This is just how it is. Um, yeah, you got two tens on top. So some of you may very well be closing this down um, because you can't. And your challenge here with that Ace of Pentacles is about complete completion and starting something brand new. Hello? And con discontent and boredom. And for whatever reason, this whole situation has just kind of just shut Taurus out like the fuck. So your challenge, Taurus, with that Ace of Pentacles and that discontent and boredom, if you are done, this is one of them, either y'all in or y'all out, if you are done, then your challenge here is to come out of that energy and start over that Ace of Pentacles now. Who you starting over with is going to be another question altogether. So that brings us to the current week that we are in, the week of June 7th. Let's start your week one with that Ace of Wands and Rejoice and Celebration. So this is just what I'm saying. There was some action taken. Somebody just got a job or got more money or second job or whatever because the bills was getting ready to pile up. It feels like one way or the other, y'all stayed out of hot and didn't have to sell nothing. Or get rid of nothing but you came really close and this is a very uncomfortable feeling that I have for Taurus almost like you've been sitting on the edge of your seat for weeks hoping something was going to come along and <laughs> free up some of this excess whatever so you can get some bills paid and that's exactly what has happened and this could have been within the last two or three weeks um, hearing about something and maybe, I don't know, this is in my head, so I'm going to just put it out there. Maybe some of you were in the restaurant industry or the tourism industry. Maybe you work for a casino or a hotel. Um, and they shut down around COVID. And they still, they may have been hiring back, but the money's not right. So whatever this is, there's a triumph here. Um, because the, <laughs> the job has been gotten. But all of that. Still got Taurus in this emotional swamp about your partnership because now, you know, you're kind of looking at it like, why did I have to go through all of this to get you to get up and go get a job? And so, once again, talking about your hopes, wishes, and dreams. Um, that emotional swamp, there's the star card, and there's the star, um, just kind of got you in the doggone funk. And you're still there, even though you got partnerships and alliances, which is a three, which is really the three of cups and everybody dancing and doing the boogaloo. You're not feeling this. You're not feeling this. And so while it may look like you're lacking spontaneity, what it is is, I mean, if I turned it around, it's about the sensuality and the affection. That's the queen of cups right there. Let's just get all in your emotions. A lot of Scorpio energy there. But, um... That lack of spontaneity is not really a lack of spontaneity. It's like, the, the fuck 
even though all this on the bottom is about success. The three, the partnerships and alliances, the joys of celebration, but you got all this ugly shit on top. And that's what I'm saying. It's a victory that's been tainted um, with something else. You still dealing with this part of it, Taurus? I don't feel like you really come out and said everything in any kind of cohesive way to your Sagittarius just yet. You are on the brink of doing so. But this is this is the other energy of that. Because I'm talking about uh, Miss Sexy on the front. This is kind of shut activity down in the bedroom. Y'all like, fuck that. Got me up here tripping. I had to beg you to go feed your kids. What's the problem? And that's just that raw energy right there. That's what it feels like. So again, this is not going to resonate for everybody. It's not for everybody. But for those of you that it is, um, the... the The thing that spirit wants you to get just this first week is that reflection. Think about what is it that you want because obviously there's something you thought you had the perfect situation and you went all the way to the wall with it and now it doesn't seem so perfect to you. Um, as you get into the second week with this ace of cups on top so we go from the queen to the ace. <laughs> Once again, and it's sitting on shadow about dealing with your shit. Are you is what you're perceiving towards accurate, or is it inaccurate? Is what you're perceiving about your situation some obscure fact about something? You know, is there another reason why Sagittarius didn't want to start working right away? And this is going to require that you get your shovel and you start digging. Um, the energy that you're carrying throughout the second week for you, which will be next week, is that of the King of Pentacles. Like, damn it, you know, I shouldn't be the only one around here, but if I got to be the king, well, hell, I will. But in, underneath all of that, Taurus, I'm still feeling like you, you want to see what your options are. Because there's a real sense of dissatisfaction right now. I just feel like, can I get my money back? Y'all got a receipt? Can you get a refund? Just saying, that's the feeling. As you begin having conversations, this is going to put you in the mode to be negotiating and talking about, you know, what the actual weight of the household is. If you're married, um, again, this it feels like it just caught you off guard because up until COVID, it seems like y'all were just puttering along, okay, and everybody was doing what they were doing, and then work. And I just, I feel like Taurus is just kind of standing in the middle of the floor with their mouth open like, what? So however that's resonating, that this Seven of Wands is on top of the Triumph card. Um, I, I don't feel that yet. I think that's what you're trying to get to, but I don't feel it yet. I don't feel like this is going to happen right away. Um, what may happen is that during these negotiations, you may say, okay, we're going to try and make this better or get to the bottom of whatever it is. There may be some um, childhood issues with your partner, with your Sagittarius. They may be, you know, all of COVID may, and, and let's just throw a note of compassion in here. COVID put a whole lot of people on notice. COVID caught a whole lot of people off guard. COVID fucked up a whole lot of people's mental capacity. Let's throw that part out there. So, you know, don't just charge in, boo, with the what the fuck was you thinking? There's thought here. What's he doing? He's sitting there, trying to figure this shit out. This ten of swords up here, sitting there, trying to figure this shit out. Emotional withdrawal, sitting there, trying to figure this shit out. That, that part. You may have to go digging deep, and now you're not just digging deep on your own behalf, Taurus. You're digging deep on because you need to figure out what it is with you and your partner. Again, it's that sense of, I have been here once before. Why do I keep attracting this kind of bullshit? And here's the energy where you need to figure that out. So you can master whatever it is emotionally that triggered you in the first place to go, why am I doing this? What the hell is really happening? And then you need to start making some choices. 
choose wisely part. You start getting the information you need to make a choice. This is where the negotiations begin. Again, you're still trying to seek success and be triumphant. The taint is still there. Looking at the third week with the king of swords on top of the sacral chakra. So the sacral chakra is the I want. That's your booty. That's what holds you down. When I talk about the back end of your overall energy, that's what I'm talking about. That shit is right in the center. That part. So not only are you considering, you know, what part of the boundaries, let's get to that side, you know, what you lining up with right here, and what boundaries you need to put in place, you're also, you're detaching towards, I don't know what the fuck else to say, because you, you obviously you're not, you don't feel like this is what you want. Now, depending on where you are in your relationship, this could be a big boo-boo, or this could be a really, really big boo-boo. So if you're just dating, if it's been a long-term dating thing, breaking up is going to be one thing. If this is a marriage, obviously, that's going to be another thing. So your considerations, go back up here to the negotiation card, is really going to have a lot to do with where you are in your relationship as to how deep, how long, all of that negotiations are going to go on. Because some of you are right ready right now to just be like, I'm gone. That temptation card. Bye. I'm gone. See ya. <coughs> Fulfillment of wishes. On top of the king. The backside of the king of wands. Um, repressed emotions. Which is stopping you from fulfilling your wishes. That's a nine. And so some of you are going to come out of this. That's the short and the long of it. Some of you are going to come out of this, even though you try to negotiate, you know, so something has gone on enough. Again, I'm saying it's job because it feels like it's work and money. That's what I feel like. Work, I feel a hammer and coins. That to me is money. Something kept it from coming to you. And so then the rest of what I see is, you know, Sagittarius is kind of playing a video game thing. And that just pissed Taurus all the hell off. And, and again, it feels like you had to go tell Sagittarius, you need to go get a job. I'm working through COVID. How come you not working through COVID? At the end of that third week, Taurus, you may feel like taking a risk. You got the fool here. You're going to have to use your intu intuition. And your intuition, that's exactly what this card has on it. Intuition moves you forward and look at what the hell is sitting on. Third eye chakra. You're going to have to use your intuition. Because I can feel the struggle here in this energy. You love your Sagittarius. Up until all of this shit, everything was good. Then this shit happened and now I have. So you're going to have to rely on your intuition. To move you forward. If you try and do the head over heart thing. Or try to be logical. Or try to be emotional one way or the other. You probably aren't going to make the best decision. If you follow your intuition. It's never going to lead you wrong. So. Come on. Give me three universe. Give me three. Give me three. I want these three to pop out. About changes. New beginnings. Okay. Fear and crisis, the five of swords on top of the financial and material changes. Okay. In the universe. I could take it. I'm not the chariot. I want it to pop out on its own, damn it. And there it is. The sun car. Oh, Lord. There it is. So at the beginning of this fourth week, and of course, time is fluid. I'm standing up here talking about dates and shit. The universe really don't give a fuck about dates, clocks, Rolexes, Rolexes, none of that shit. Um, fourth week changes on top of new beginnings. This has got a real sense of Taurus. So some of you are going to move on. 
We just put that there. Some of y'all are going to pack up the hoorah and be, because you can't deal with this energy. Um, Taurus going through the, the amount of changes that you've gone through. And if you just look back to the last five years from where you were to what you are now, completely different person. And you're all right with that. So many of you may just go ahead and walk on out the door and start over. Again, for a lot of you, it's going to be dependent on where you are with your relationship. Um, those of you that decide to stay in it, that'll be the week that you start moving forward. And, and again, that it's sitting underneath the King of Swords, front, back, sideways, don't matter. There will be boundaries that'll be put in place. Got that feeling, and that it fell underneath that. I have no doubt that's what I what's gonna happen. And it's on top of the I want card. So Taurus is gonna be pretty blunt about I want this, I expect this. If this happens again, blah 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 blah. Either side, whether you stay or whether you go, you're gonna have you it's it's you're already in crisis, so we ain't even gotta talk about that, but it's gonna trigger some fear. Now, I done laid out all these damn boundaries and the king of swords and some other shit. Is this really going to happen this way? Obviously, they're going to be, whether you stay or go, they're going to be some material changes. I feel like those of you that are staying, that are creating new boundaries, you are asking. That five is about change. Come on, you are asking Sagittarius. You need to kick in some more so we can have a saving. So if this does happen again, both of us don't have to worry about hopping up and going to find a job. That part. Those of you that are staying, those of you that are leaving, it may trigger crisis because now you got to start over. If you're living with each other, that's, woo, got to find a place to go. Rental market ain't the best right now. Or buying, not the best. But that'll trigger that. And they're going to be on that side too, some financial and material changes. At the end of this, that the sun card came out, I have a feeling just a lot of tourists are going to just walk on it recognizing that um you see that red Sagittarius recognizing that on either side if you go recognizing that this is not the situation for you or Sagittarius is not the person for you and if you stay recognizing that you know now that you've got some boundaries in place there could be some reward that part but all of that's under the sun the sun is also about healing so whichever end of the spectrum you're on, whether you stay or whether you go, that triggers the heal. That starts it because now you're in a new beginning cycle. That part right there. Uh, let's see what the Tarot of Tarot cards got to say to Taurus. You can't make this shit up. You cannot. Can we start over? That's the first one. So some of you do want to stay with your Sagittarius and that there's the question, can we start over? You might be asking that question, Sagittarius might be asking that question. Two more, please universe, give me two more. Protect your energy, Taurus. Protect your energy. Um, whatever you decide to do, protect yourself. You know, don't put yourself all out there when you all stressed out and then we got the mad Willie bull running around looking for the china shop. Protect your energy. This is probably not the greatest time of the year to be just mad and, and trying to flex a muscle or two. Protect your energy. Protect your energy. Oh, well, hell, I'll take it. There it is. So both of y'all... For those of you that, that are going to stay, um, you go, it's coming from both sides. So Taurus may be asking or telling Sagittarius, I want to try again. Sagittarius may be asking, can we start over? Um, now, the question is going to come either way. Whether Taurus stays or leaves, you're still going to have to deal with this. The Sagittarius is going to be asking these questions. And are you ready to answer? Again, I'd be cautious in this energy. You got another, you got another two weeks of, of Mercury retrograde. So next week, the week of the 14th, 
it's gonna be that slide back week, you know, where Mercury realizes it's moonwalking <laughs> in the cosmos and it don't don't necessarily want to be going backwards, and things will begin to uh, come back. Anything that's happened in the last three or four weeks, you'll get a replay of what's going on, and then the following week it stations direct. So. I wouldn't probably make it be making any kind of firm decision and this went all the way to July might as well just say July eighth. Um, I wouldn't be making any decisions until after the holiday weekend, which Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the fourth of July this year actually falls on a Sunday. So I probably wouldn't be making any decisions until after that that holiday is celebrated and gone. And then whatever it is that you decide to do, that's what it'll be. Taurus, I love you. I hope y'all have a good month. I hope everything works out for you. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.